I've been making Roblox videos for a long time now, which means I've played a lot of games. I've damn near played every Roblox game under the sun. You can bet your bottom dollar. I've played the good games, I've played the bad games, and everything in between. But there are two new sections, sections that I'm not sure were always there. But Roblox thought when they made this change, nobody would see it. But old Uncle Scoop here he saw it with his own two spectacles. Oh, yeah! You got your run-of-the-mill sections, most engaging, okay, recommended for you, exclusive for 17 plus if we're feeling a little crazy, up and coming, these are sections we've all come to know and love. As terrible as they are at suggesting us new games, they're all we got. But today, I want to take a look at exclusive subscription benefits. What does that mean? Subscription. This isn't Netflix. This isn't Spotify. Why do we have a subscription on Roblox? If you didn't know, Roblox has a brand new way to delete money from your Roblox account. Different games all across Roblox can now have some sort of subscription service. You know how whenever you make a private server, you have to click this little box that says, do not drain my Roblox account of all of its money. But if you don't click that, then every month it will buy another private server, even if you're not using it. It's kind of like that. Isn't that fun? So me being the curious boy I am, I need to see what do I get for the, the low, low, price of whatever they want to charge me a month blade ball one of the biggest games out right now they want you to pay them monthly to hit a ball back and forth why do they want this it must be in the store right this is better than I could have ever possibly imagined. Not only do they not accept Robux, they want $5, $5 a month to hit a ball back and forth. Seven day calendar rewards. Okay, so you get battle pass for blade ball. You want the blade ball battle pass? Five bucks a month, buddy. Super sword bonus. See, I don't know what that is. I, is it just pay to win? They can't do that because then people would be mad. I'm trying to put this in perspective. $5 a month to hit a ball back and forth. You could do that for free. I think I just felt my heart sink into my stomach i feel like we're, we're in the dark ages but listen blade ball is not the only game doing this okay i'm not trying to single out blade ball because the thing is this is very widespread these are how many games have it and there's probably more than that one pizza per second is a game that you could pay monthly to play let's go to the store there it is five bucks a month for the member bundle that gives you a star pet and pizza i think now you're asking yourself how how does it get worse than paying real money for pizza per second Roblox game? Let's do a lightning round. Escape Walmart Obby. This is an Obby that you pay monthly for. There it is. This time, only $3 because they're so gracious. And you want to know what it does for $3 a month? You get to walk faster and you get to jump higher in an Obby. I can't believe I'm making this video right now. I think I feel like I'm I feel like I'm having a mental breakdown. We're not done. We're not done. Hold up. Do not leave. Do not leave because Poop with Friends has a monthly subscription. I <sighs> Dude, I'm having a penny tank. Okay. For three dollars a month. Every tool. You get every tool in the game. I, I've been paying for this for six years. I didn't realize I had a subscription to poop with friends. This is just gonna ruin so many parents who probably can't afford rent because Roblox wanted to add a subscription service for every game on their platform. You could just imagine a kid just going through this section and clicking this on every game they see. You could spend thousands of dollars a month. If you clicked on every game every single game that's here i think i need to calm down dude i need to go on a walk oh my god oh god unfortunately everybody's getting called out today we got jenga tower what do you get three dollars to receive exclusive benefits such as double map vote double daily rewards baba buoy death sound <laughs> three dollars for that vibe place vibe place what what does he what do you get receive a permanent coffee tool 
This is just to test it out. Oh, yeah, it's just a test, guys. Super League. Okay, you know, this is a soccer game. It, the production value on the game is actually pretty good. It's a pretty popular game, 11,000. What do they offer? Can they offer anything substantial here? No. This is just XP boost and going... Okay, $5 a month. Not 500 Robux, okay? Not... No, 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 no. US dollars, please. None of these games can really justify having a subscription service. A monthly subscription service. Subscription services, you know, they're for watching shows. You got your Hulu, your Disney Plus. You would have to make the best Roblox game ever. The most fleshed out, content rich Roblox game ever conceived to just monthly payments monthly you want to play grandma visit story huh with AI generated picture with PNG Santa hat glued on top what do they offer what do you what do you got pack stabber for VIP for freaking VIP dude this subscription will give you access to all tools but why? Most of these subscriptions are basically just like grouping all the game passes together into a subscription service. It would be cheaper in the long run to just buy them. <sighs> we have reached the apex of modern gaming, folks. Bid Battles, a game about spending money wants you to pay a subscription service. Sounds about right. What do you get? What do you get that's so good? Your character is an NPC. That's the coolest thing I've seen any of these games offer so far. So you know what? We'll give them, we'll give them a thumbs up for now. What else you get? You get, a, you get the executive shelf pack and you get a diamond tag in chat. Epic Minigames. Whoa, dude. Epic Minigames. This is such an old game. Dude, I was playing this back in 2016 when the dinosaurs were running around. 30 monthly choices. So you just get to choose what game plays 30 times in a month? Eh. All right. I mean, if you're addicted to this freaking game, Gunfight Arena. This is a new game. Updated one day ago. Created this year, a couple months ago. So it's, yeah, it's kind of new. What do you get? Holy! We're breaking boundaries now. I'm not even digging that deep. We've already found the first $8 a month subscription for two times the credits equip primary weapons in the secondary weapon slot so basically paying to win because what you so you can just get two sniper rifles two rocket launchers if you want they put it in writing super overpowered tkb11 <laughs> I don't think I touched on every single game here, but you get the idea. I didn't even get to talk about the other section that I wanted to talk about, which kind of, you know, was less interesting, so I'm not really too broken up about it, but the sponsored section, which is basically a way for the developers to delete their own monies. They're paying for their game to be in this section. You have, like, some kind of successful games, like the go-kart race simulator, you got 1,000 players, right next to games with literally nobody. But, yeah, subscription services, no thanks. Listen! Marcus Our benevolent lords over at the fun games creator they have given us a discount it just eats robux